and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Azir Snapbind. We're going to be playing another Overgrown Snapbind deck. This awesome card, 7 mana, 5, 3. Whenever you summon any follower, you just kill it right away and then you replace it with an Overgrown Snapbind. And so that's going to be awesome with Sand Soldiers, because right, because like whenever we attack, we summon an attacking Sand Soldier. But uh, with an Overgrown Snapbind in play, that Sand Soldier will just turn immediately into a permanent 5-3. So that's really cool. So that's our kind of our combination here between Azir and Overgrown Snapbind. And we're going to have a lot of other like smaller things to kind of help out your Overgrown Snapbinds. These kind of cards are just awesome with Snapbind, like Hapless Aristocrat, Wings in the Wave, Curse Keeper, Fading Icon. These are all cards that give you two bodies. And so with, with the Snapbind in play, they're going to be two 5-3s for really, really cheap so for example, for eight mana, you can play Overgrown Snapbind and then immediately play either Hapless Aristocrat or Wings of the Wave, and you can have three five threes. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. And then we're gonna be have, you know, having some other stuff. We're gonna have some Threshes in here because Thresh can see six units die pretty easily. And then it's also gonna just help control the board, help slow the game down, get us to the uh, Overgrown Snapbinds. We're gonna have Nasus because we should be slaying a whole lot of things. It does count as a slay each time that you have your with a snapbind in play. The snapbind like kills the follower and puts in a new snapbind. So we can get lots and lots of slays for Nasus. So those are gonna be our other support champions. And we're gonna have some kind of really cool top end cards that are just gonna be some one ofs. Like Emperor's Divide could be awesome with snapbind, basically giving everything on the opponent side vulnerable and just filling your board with five threes. We're also going to have um, a harrowing that, like, let's say you have a kind of harrowing ruination combo. Basically, it's just a good ruination metagame. So we're going to have this in here. So, like, whenever, because we're going to be kind of going wide. So the opponents go wide, and, and they're probably not going to be expecting a ruination. And so this could really uh, work out well with that. But then also, if we play a ruination, clear the board, maybe after a snapbind, then whenever we harrowing, harrowing puts snapbind back into play. And then all the followers afterwards, even though they would normally be ephemeral, uh, they will all get killed and then turn into regular snap binds. So Harrowing will put permanent bodies in play. That could be a really cool uh, combo there, Ruination into Harrowing. All right, but let's go ahead and try it out. We're gonna play some Azir snap bind. We're gonna go play five games. All right, we got Poppy Ziggs. I've seen this deck. Uh, be pretty aggressive. They got good Nexus damage with, with Fervor and Decimate and things like that. This is starting to be a real popular deck right now. And I like our curve. We got good one, two, three. So my plan is to probably play Merciless Hunter next round, and then Caretaker the O1 after that. Um, actually, you know, let's just play Azir. We don't really have anything great to um, give the vulnerable to. It's a good spot for Azir as well. What's up, Giffen Tonic? Hope you're doing well. That's why you always carry another pair of goggles. There you are. Destiny called. I know, thought about having Wings of the Wave sacrifice the sapling and put a 3 3 into play. But I'll just go like this and get a couple of O1s. 
right now. Nah. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. Somewhere. Gonna find a gift for an acting. Right, Arda? Where was I? This one's a fighter. Hmm. The waters give you life, child. Unfortunately, it still plants the poison pup caps, but. Alright, so Zier needs Luna Moss to level up. Gets plus, yeah, just plus one, plus zero this round. Together we are united. If I forgotten them, no. No one's the wiser. I must be known. There's not too much reason to attack with that. So, I attack with these two. They have they have those two block. I don't have great blocks on the 4-4, but I can just throw my 1-1 one, one in front of the 4-4, four, four, I suppose. Maybe I just don't attack with that. Maybe we just attack here. Come, we have an empire to build. It is time. Your emperor commands. Explosives pride. Darkness in your heart. The blockers. Down to nine, and now we have all these puff caps. It would have been kind of nice to have this, the box earlier. Six. If they're not playing a unit, I want to play Merciless Hunter. If they are going to play a unit, I want to play the box. So this is a tough choice. Oh, pass. Oh, that's too bad. The order is given. Yep. Should have played the hunter. Should have played the hunter. Because I could have had an additional three points of damage here if I would have played the hunter. But now they get to fervor my nexus. Oh, they just have two fervors? Alright, so I was, I was gonna die. Good hand, opponent. Good hand. So we came close, we came very close to beating one of the best decks in the format, one of the most popular decks in the format, with our little meme tier overgrown snapbind deck. We came really close. Yes, that was my line also, was the pass and keep spell mana for you know snapbind into hapless. But... Didn't quite work out. Alright, Zoe Nami. I think I'm keeping a Zir and sending all those back. All right, file fees could be good. Please pass, yay. 
No round one Zoe for once. If I'm forgotten, then no. I must be known. <laughs> yeah, we're playing in normal. No, I know. We we've just been playing against all you know top tier decks here in normal. What is this? That's the double trouble or those two? Wow. Do not see what is. See what will be. Wow. Please let this work. Why, why does it never work? Let the tide carry you. Follow me Please work. Obviously, there's no chance of this working because they have Fleet Admiral Shelly. Why is this one out of two? We just started the round. <laughs> it's gotta be a visual bug, right? Let the tide carry you. Yep, tier one deck with a tier one hand. That will do. So let's go... How close are you to leveling up? You're at 8. So 9, 10, 11, 12. I can only get... I can get to 12. We love it when they run! This is how I can kill Nami. We have to draw, like, Ruination. Like, this is a Ruination matchup. Never mind. One. We got one ruination. I think I like the box for this matchup. Yeah. I like both Black Spear and the box. I take out like the Dravens and some of the cheaper stuff. Yeah, that was one of the craziest hands there for a Nami deck. That double trouble was insane that my opponent just had. But, oh well. That's how it goes. Huh. I'm kind of surprised they, they played the Boom Baboon here. I was kind of expecting double Daring Poro and just, you know, being able to block with a, a Daring Poro. I'm expecting that. 
Let's boogie. I don't want to wait on the box. Come, come this way. Not use the box on just like these little one ones and stuff. The Blighted Caretaker can clean up. Wait for like Twin Blade Revenant like next round. Glimpse beyond. Yeah, now it's just this one, the one four three. It's nothing else. All right, how are we doing, man? All right, so nine out of thirteen. We're two rounds away before the snap vine. Let's save some spell mana. Men die, but Sharima lives forever. I assume Scion's leveled up. Yeah, I mean, it will be before they play it. Another one of those. Played the box too well yet. They could definitely have another get excited to kill the snap vine if I play snap vine right now. Let's wait till next round where I can have Vile Feast back up. Station Archivist that hits three cards? What is this? Then they discarded the 4-2. The box would hit the 3-3 and the 0-2. Alright, snap fine. Gonna need your help. Gonna need your help. Help. Gonna need your help. Help. As long as the body holds blood. I mean, they have a lot of these revenants. But I can have a lot of snap vines. Yeah. 
So I take two. So we have me taking two, and we get. Um, we'll have two snap finds still. They're going through a lot of their deck. They only got 18 cards left. They, they've only played one champion so far. Man, they're really playing around the box quite a bit. Alright, uh, so I'm going to pray. Okay, here we go. Snap find time. You're slow speed. I guess it doesn't really matter. We give all their stuff vulnerable or not. 20 damage snap finds. <clears throat> oh, so close. 15 damage snap finds. So close. We're gonna die on some ground and stuff. Zero has six health, doubled the today. amount of health from the five threes. I follow, am. Man, I, I need two more mana. I wish we could. We could play the box and the box and vengeance next round. We can't do all of that. Who is left of Carol? Faithless creature. It's me only taking four. Perfect. Apple to Rizcrap was definitely what I wanted. Perfect. So unless they got like an atrocity over there, they don't. That's overgrown snap vine and getting that win. GG's. I think our deck has looked pretty good. We've played against three tough matchups. We've gone one and two, but we've been right there in the different games. Uh, speaking of tough matchups, we got a, another tough matchup right here with Teemo Caitlyn. All right, much better hand. Hey, Nasus. We haven't seen a Nasus yet. First time seeing Nasus. What's that noise? Alright, got him down to 16. News from the Undercity Shift, Detective Zane. It's all in the report, Sheriff. Should pay off nicely. That's a tough setup for us to stop. So basically, might as well attack with the Hapless Aristocrat because we put the Sand Soldier in anyway. Alright, we slayed something. Hooray. Notify patrol to close in on this location. We'll prepare them a nice welcome. I should be doing this during combat, because they can just play another Caitlyn now. That's a mistake. 
And obviously they just have another Caitlyn. Because why not? Because why not? But, yep, that's a mistake by me. So that's, that's pretty good for me that they killed that, because otherwise they would have been able to strike, you know, we would have had the Sand Soldier coming in, they would have been able to strike with Caitlyn, so that actually worked out pretty well that they, for me, that they killed the Azir. The best draw is like Hapless Aristocrat. You know, like one mana. One mana units, either Hapless Aristocrat or the other one. But I think we already had. Do we already have two copies of the Wings of the Way? I don't, I don't know if it's going to really matter with this hand. Oh, great. Lumps Beyond. Draw more cards. That's exactly what we want to do. Aim to win, and my aim is excellent. But no, good, good hand opponent. A single empire ruled by the true king. All right. Perhaps Sharima was meant to fall. Zoe Aphelios with Piltoverns on. Okay. Send that back. And I think I'll send the Glimpse Beyond back also. I really want to see a Vile Feast for Zoe. But it would be good for them just not to have Zoe. That would also work out. So just pass the round to me. I'll play Aristocrat. Alright, good enough. I'll take it. Basically, see if we want to play the fading icon or not. There's nothing a merciless hunter yet. Yeah, you know, they go Aphelios this round. I'll, I would have merciless hunter it. All right, let's go ahead and see. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. My spirit shines. Alright, so we had them waste two mana, you know, like, they used two more mana. You know, like, we got back even with mana, basically. Definitely hoping they would play something else, but this is, that card is still worth the box. Hey, Zach. Hope you're having a good day. Three, three, Nessus. Your 
your emperor commands. Back, heretic. And that's all perfectly fine with me. Nasus. Indeed, and time has taught me even more. Got our glimpse back. So, Percival. That didn't work out like I wanted to. I was thinking I was going to replace the prey and then kill that. That didn't work out how I wanted it to. Gotta keep grow growing this Nasus. So we're at seven right now. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Okay, so we're gonna have nine mana. Oh, I want I wanna have ten. Okay, that's not a bad card. Speaking of not a bad card, this isn't like the best Nasus matchup because they are a Hush deck. Just as we've always known, Hush is one of the best answers to Nasus. I don't like Saf Siphoning Strike again because they could hush the Nasus. If I Siphoning Strike, like Spirit Leech, they can Mystic Shot. Again, if I go Merciless Hunter, try to challenge, they have Mystic Shot to protect. So there's different things there that I don't like. Like, I guess that was like basically my, my best way to try to kill the Aphelios. Was that card? Yeah, Tribune would make a lot of sense. Hmm. I am surprised by that. Like, Zoe didn't attack? I want to see if they play one more burst. I'd see. I think they may play one more removal spell here. Uh, see, that would have been perfect if they would have played, you know, like another Mystic Shot, and then I get to ride Negation all three. I was definitely going greedy, for sure. And they only have two cards left. It's like not very many cards. They probably don't have another Mystic Shot, right? I guess I should be doing it on like the 4 1, Life just in case. But I wanted it, yeah. I wanted to level up Nasus if I could. Alright, well, that worked out well. That worked out really, really well. Safety disengaged. Sharima, your emperor has 
has returned. Spell Shield is not going to keep my uh, Nasus alive through a Ruination. <laughs> Alright, the Nasus will die. So that line, that line made sense except for the Zoe not attacking. The Zoe not attacking didn't really make sense. Be a lot of slaves for the Nasus. That's perfectly fine because Nasus is going to keep growing, growing, growing. That Pill Cascade didn't really do much. That takes the spell shield. Alright, so they're going to need Atrocity, but I do have Ride of Negation for Atrocity. They have Double Hush. They could have Double Hush. Oh, that, that's only vulnerable this round. Not like vulnerable for the rest of time. If you could turn back time. That's disappointing. Oh! You can tell I never play that card. You can tell, never play that card. Well, if I kill the if I kill the curse keeper right there, then the four two just gets obliterated. I don't have room, so it's like why why do that? We know the four two gets obliterated because we still would have the spider right here, and then these three would have shown up first. So I can either have a one one spider or a one one curse keeper, and with like ruination in hand, I'd rather have the one one curse keeper and just like all the other stuff that we we want to slay units. I'd rather just have the curse keeper there. All right. In case of all right, only these things can challenge. Why do I keep on keep on thinking they're vulnerable? They're not vulnerable. I was gonna say like in case of double hush, it may be better to have my eight eight Azir challenge. All things. How about that? We got a two and three record. Not bad, not bad. So honestly, not too bad of a showing for our deck because we were playing against some of the very best decks, like a lot of tier one decks, and they were having some real good hands too. But we played some close games. You know, we won two of the two of the five, and that's kind of what we want with a meme tier deck to be competitive in the games, even against the tier one decks. Not necessarily winning every single game. You know, we weren't, but we were pretty competitive. I liked it quite a bit. I could definitely see playing a second Ruination. Something like that Zoe Nami. You know, like that Nami hand. It's like the only thing that stops Nami. Like, you, you just can't kill all their stuff otherwise. So I could see playing a second Ruination. Emperor's Divide, probably not necessary. I understand it could be cool with Snapvine. But we have all these other things that are cool with Snapvine. So, probably don't need... You know, like... like by the time we're, like, Snapvining, we usually already have a pretty full board anyway. Thresh, it's not... Okay, so 
you said you take out Thresh because you don't want to pull Azir, and that's not that's not what Thresh is about. Thresh is about taking out other opposing champions, taking out Lulus and Dravens and all, all that kind of stuff, and just controlling the board and just slowing the game down and, and allowing us time to snap by and just you know be a really good card with the challenger and stuff like that's that's what thresh is doing it just you know like we don't really have anything in, like it here in the mid game we have two spirit leeches and that's it and four and five mana or thresh can can settle down a board and uh slow the game down where nasus is you know like nasus takes a you know takes an additional turn it's kind of late there and then we've seen that it's not like you know we're probably slaying stuff but there are times like where nasus could be pretty small thresh stabilizes that's what it does. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't mind another ruination. I think I think maybe that's like the only change I would do is probably take out that that divide and put in an additional ruination. I think like I think ruination is very good these days. All right, but anyway, that's gonna be it here for Zero Snap Vine. Cause yeah, even like the like the Caitlyn deck, right? Like whenever they're going like Caitlyn and all the um, you know ballistic bots and everything, like right? You just need ruination to to clear up all that stuff because people don't really people aren't gonna be playing around it. And it's just a really good card these days. All right, but that's Azir, Azir Snapvine. Good record uh, for, for meme tier, especially considering the opponents that we faced and the hands that our opponents had. Uh, so not too bad at all with the 2-3. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Feel free to let us know what you what you think about the deck, what you would do with it, or if you try it out yourself. You know, how, how does it go? How do you like it? But that's it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.